to my kitchen. I've had such a long day today. In general, the past few weeks have been just a lot of things to do and I feel a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I've also just been editing and getting a video up until just now. It's now half past seven and I haven't cooked. So now is the time where I'm going to relax, to wind down and even though cooking is kind of a chore, I feel like it's all about your mindset though. If you switch your mindset from cooking is a chore to it's a privilege to cook and to nourish my body and to have all these beautiful ingredients to cook with and to really romanticize cooking, I think it can be so much fun. So I am cooking a curry because I feel like having curry and yeah, to be easy, fast, I'm going to romanticize the heck out of it and I'm also going to put on some music and I don't know, romanticize cooking. Sadly, you won't be able to hear it because of copyright reasons. I find that when I'm by myself, in cooking, spending time in the kitchen, I really love listening to um, Latin music, salsa music, so things like that. It makes me feel good and happy. <laughs> curries really saucy or a lot of sauce compared to rice mm -hmm. yum this is so good actually you know what I'm going to sit down light some candles even though it's super dark in the living room and I don't love that to make it really cozy and really intentional just a really cute dinner with myself. Tonight I'm actually going to an opera. I'm going alone. It's the first time I've ever went to a show alone. I'm really excited for the story. The opera itself is called Turandot, Turandot by Puccini and it is the story of a Chinese princess who doesn't want to marry and gives anyone who wants to marry her a three riddles that they have to solve before they can marry her and if they fail they have to die or are hanged or something like that. So it is somewhat of a more dark fairy tale, but I'm so excited for the costumes. I'm so excited for the story. So I am back from the opera, it was really nice. I love the costumes, I love that there were so many performers on stage, the choir was so big and I like it when a lot of people are singing at the same time, it's just this huge energy that is sent out and it just sounds so beautiful and I was really proud of myself that I felt really comfortable and really at peace and I was really present, which is a big leap, especially from my first spending time alone video. I remember being so nervous, so in my head, totally having social anxiety and this time I was so relaxed. I was even a little, not underdressed, but more on the casual side. My shoes were dirty. <laughs> I was carrying my helmet around but none of that phased me at all 
I didn't care what people thought. I was just doing my own thing and having a good time. I think it really helped that I knew the opera house itself and knew where everything was and knew the procedure of going there. So it somehow also felt familiar, which helped me feel more relaxed and at peace. Highly recommend, would totally do it again. And um, yeah, the opera itself was also really nice. I've, I had never seen Turandot before, so yeah, that was a first. So I actually just registered for the city library. I don't know why I haven't done this before because I'm always on about buying secondhand books since it's cheaper, better for the environment, but you know what's even cheaper and even better for the environment? To go to the library and to borrow books there. I guess my excuse has always been, well, they're not going to have many or any English books because here in Germany, we tend to not speak or watch or listen to or read much English. So, yeah, that was always my excuse, but it was always something that I, in a sense, made up in my head. I don't know if they have many English books. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. And I do also sometimes read German books. So today I'm going to go in and check out the library. I'm so excited. It's really small. They have a lot of different locations throughout the city, but the one closest to me is pretty small, but still I'm gonna go check it out, get to know their system. And yeah, maybe see a few books that I like that I'm going to bring home with me. So I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but I'm back and I had an amazing experience. The people working there were so, so, so nice and it was such a cute little library. And I got this book, this German book. At first I was on the fence, I was going to get this other um, English book, but this is set in summer and just has summery vibes, which is so fitting. So I got this one. I heard so many good things about this and when I was checking out, um, the lady working there asked me which book I had got and I showed her this and she said, oh, that's my favorite book. Have fun reading it. It was just, just so sweet. And yeah, I totally should have done this earlier. So I want to encourage all of you to go check out your local library and yeah it's just so much cheaper and more sustainable and it's so fun because now i had this fun outing to go out look for nice books and even if they don't have it there they will deliver it from a different library it will cost you like a euro more but still it's so affordable and i even saw that they have the book that i read last month for my book club so i could have just gotten in there instead of buying it secondhand and then reselling it secondhand. So this is just makes so much more sense. <laughs> Guys, go get a library subscription because it's it's just amazing. It makes so much sense. Oh, and they also had games and DVDs and music and oh, like, why would you buy things anymore? You could just borrow them from a library. I don't know how many people use a library, how popular libraries are, but they should be more of a thing. Like you should teach children in school to use libraries to the death because it's just an amazing concept and I don't know anyone that is a part of a library. Most people just buy books or buy secondhand books. But yeah, libraries, genius. <laughs> During summertime, this room gets the best light by far. The sun just streams in in the evenings. It's so nice and the rest of the apartment is just so dark because we do have so much, tr so many trees and so much foliage in front of our windows, except for it in here. So I'm spending some time in here just soaking up the sun. And since the room in general is so white, it's so bright in here and it makes me so happy. I really also have to teach myself to just 
do nothing and that being okay. I'm just used to always having to do something, being productive, or even if I'm not being productive, I have to do something. If it's reading or cooking or just something and and I just want to practice doing nothing, just being and just breathing and being. <laughs> So I was actually going to watch a movie tonight, but because I already had so much screen time, I thought why not wind down with a book that I'm currently reading. Also, I definitely noticed my eyes are pretty tired, and as you can maybe tell, my nose is stuffy because I've just been having horrible allergies lately. But this is the book I'm currently reading, The Paper Palace. It's the one we're currently reading for our book club. And at first I really did not like it. Now I'm kind of torn. I don't I couldn't really say if I like it. I'm still I still have about 50 pages left, so I think I can finish this tonight if I don't fall asleep. Uh, I'll wait till I finish it to give it my full review, but right now I'm really on the fence whether I like it or not. <laughs> So I just finished the book, I'm still all cozied up, and I I don't really know what I feel about how I feel about it usually. I will it's pretty obvious for me. I love the book or I don't really like it, but this one I was really on the fence about and I definitely really enjoyed the backdrop, the scenery of the book that is set at this cabin kind of by a lake and in the woods and it gave me all those flashbacks back to when I was younger at my grandma's and just roaming around um, during the summer holidays and that very carefree adventurous feeling but then there were also um, parts of the book I didn't love the book definitely has very difficult topics that it addresses that are a little uncomfortable to read if I had to give a rating, I think it would give 3.5 to 4 stars, so actually not that bad. But then again, I wouldn't say it's a must read. So again, I, I couldn't really say. I'm sorry, but this is like the first time I feel this ambivalent about a book. But yeah, I'm so happy to finish that. Finishing a book always gives me such a accomplished feeling and that also just means that I get to pick out the next book to read which is really exciting um, I think for the next book I'm actually going to read a German book because I read far too little German books so I'm also excited about that thank you so much for watching and following along on a spending time alone video hope you enjoyed and inspired you also to just take some time to spend alone, spend a little quality time with yourself doing what you love, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!